Hello, and welcome back to our channel. It is good to see you here once again. Demand for meat has never been higher, but the way we produce it today is unsustainable and, for some, ethically dubious. So, scientists around the world are learning to grow meat and seafood in their labs without the need for farms or livestock. Cultured meat is meat produced by in vitro cell culture of animal cells instead of from slaughtered animals. It is a form of cellular agriculture. Cultured meat is produced using many of the same tissue engineering techniques traditionally used in regenerative medicine. In 2013, Mark Post, a professor at Maastricht University, was the first to showcase a proof of concept for cultured meat by creating the first burger patty grown directly from cells. Since then, several cultured meat prototypes have gained media attention. However, because of limited dedicated research activities, cultured meat has not yet been commercialized although several plants for the production of cultured meat are already being built. According to New Scientist in May 2020, there were around 60 startups around the world developing and improving the cultured meat process. Some of these did not produce any clean meat themselves, but provided others with the latest technological tools or experimental information. Growth media reportedly still cost hundreds of dollars per liter, but for clean meat production to scale, this needs to drop to around $1 a liter. In June 2020, Chinese government officials have called for a national strategy to allow China to keep up with other countries making progress in cultured meat. The production of cultured meat is currently very expensive. In 2008, it was about $1 million for a piece of beef weighing 250 grams, and it would take considerable investment to switch to large-scale production. However, the in vitro meat consortium has estimated that with improvements to current technology, there could be considerable reductions in the cost of cultured meat. They estimate that it could be produced for 3,500 euros per ton, which is about twice the cost of unsubsidized conventional European chicken production. In a March 2015 interview with Australia's ABC, Mark Post said that the marginal cost of his team's original 250,000 euro burger was now 8 euros. He estimates that technological advancements would allow the product to be cost competitive to traditionally sourced beef in approximately 10 years. In 2016, the cost of production of cultured beef for food technology company Memphis Meats was $18,000 per pound. As of June 2017, Memphis Meats reduced the cost of production to below $2,400 per pound, and in February 2018, to $1,700 per pound, and even further after that. If meat can be made without raising animals, the health and environmental benefits could be huge. The challenge is to make cultured meat at scale and affordable enough for everyone. So. When will the fruits of the cellular agriculture reach the supermarket shelves? In the next few years, we can expect a few launches of small-scale products in high-end restaurants. It will be a pretty expensive burger in a restaurant. Our prediction is that by 2030, you might see them on supermarket shelves at a decent price. Did you like this video? Please subscribe to our channel to be the first to see our newest technological reviews.